Look at me. I just celebrated my 14th month of sobriety. Death not to be laughed at. She is pure evil. As I live and breathe. Chuck Stryker, bugger me. Eh, not till we've had a few drinks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Any of those tricks, what have you been up to? Oh, not so good. Bottom's dropped out of this game with all this terrorism malarkey. I mean, do I look like one of them? Leave it. I mean, last Tuesday, I'm driving home, two or three sawn offs in the boot. It's red hot and piss with sweat. I have a shower, get out, towel round me head, please kick me back doors in. Get on the floor, Mustafa! Anyway, I've got a safety debrief to do. Come on, you can't say that. See you in a bit, Clint. All right, mate. You're in the race? Yeah. I got your uh, entrance fee. Entrance fee? Yeah, until we get the big sponsors, I'm paying for most of this, so uh, three quid. Three quid? What's to pay for? There's not even any spectators. Are you blind? You think this field were free? Plus there's all the unseen overheads, the, the website, the bandwidth, the live satellite uplink. To all them spectators out there in cyberspace just waiting for this event to go live. So, if you want to be part of this, this dot com phenomenon, it's only going to cost you three quid. It's up to you, pal. No money, no entrance, no global recognition, and no significant cash prize. Cheers, mate. See you at finish line. We'll line up with other lads. <laughs> Fred Swithin, cobbler's arms. Uh, our returning champion pub from Blubber Houses. Oh, correction, you're returning champions for the fifth consecutive year. <laughs> I'll get this show on the road. <laughs> May the best men win. <laughs> or women. <laughs> I can't help it if I knew all the answers. Before the question was asked. I knew you were up to something. This is a dark day for the League of Pub Quizzes. Oh, shut your cake, all your slimy bag of gas. Well, classy, very classy. Right that Mr Graham. Charlie Stubbs. This is Tracy, I see you made a start. Yeah, well, I like to crack on with things. Not off to see a cobbled street these days. <laughs> Quaint, isn't it? Plays havoc with your car suspension. Does it? Then those trams rumbling by up there, well, they'll take it down on the foundations. You trying to talk me out of it? Just saying it'll all be reflected in the valuation. Eat whilst it's warm. Yeah, don't spend it on drugs. You know, all my male friends treat me dead nice, you know? Mm, bet they do. Why are you saying it like that for? Like what? Like that. Do you want me to suck you off then? No. Why are you queer? No. What are you then? I need to go. We lost a daughter your age not so long ago. What, so you want me to dress up like her? <sighs> I think you'd better go. Come on. See you then. How do you... I know I've got to have this up, but I'm starving. I'm sorry, you can't have anything at all. Right now, I could murder a thick crust Hawaiian with extra cheese. I could be right arm for one. I'm sure Miss Andrews has told you that there's nothing worse than pizza for Goulston. Oh, I'm the pizza king, me. <laughs> it's sod's law, isn't it? The food you love is what's worst for you. Yes, I see it more as nature's way of telling you to stop eating fat-packed junk with the nutritional value of a carpet tile. You can operate on Mr. Harcastle. Pleased to tell you that the operation went without a hitch and was a complete success. Any questions? Uh, no, Doctor, thanks. What's that under the blanket? You're the doctor, you tell me. <laughs> You're not supposed to be eating so soon after a general anaesthetic. I was starving. 
It's the first one I've been able to enjoy in months. If you go on eating fatty, salty foods, it'll be your heart next time, and we can't take that out. Oh, we could have a try. This is going to have to wait. As you know, there's a huge demand for clay pigeon shooting. It's boom time, pardon the pun. There's lots of corporate pie to go round. Well, we'd certainly like to add it to our profile, wouldn't we, Anna? Well, certainly preferable to slaughtering innocent creatures. <laughs> We're all conservationists these days, aren't we? <laughs> oh, do, do you think you can meet our needs? Oh, no problem. I'll price you up a package. Guns, traps, the whole shooting match. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> if you'd get it to me as soon as possible, I'd be grateful. Well, I'll drop it off later today. Ah, that's splendid. Lovely. <laughs> No, no, no. Here's my proposal. I hope it hits the target. <laughs> well, I'll take a look at it and get back to you. You've got my number.